leaderboard today. First snook of the that. day. There we go. There'll be a couple more, I think. Yeah, we'll get more. A lot of extra riding and fishing's been great back here. There we go. Yep. That's a nice snook. Sweet. All right. Back on the leaderboard. You can just let him go. Yeah. I'm going to have the video working right now, so. Nice. All right, Snooky. It is really beautiful back here. Deep in the Everglades in an undisclosed location. Paddle. Yeah. You have a motor anymore. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh shit. Nice snook again, right? Yeah. There's a group of them there, I think. I think so too. So there's this, I have a bunch of old school fishing books. Yeah. One was written by Zane Gray, who was a Western writer in the early 1900s. And he holds, I think still to this day, several world records. Awesome. But anyway, he, he wrote, one of the stories he wrote, he was tarpon fishing off of Isla Mirada. And, oh, that's nice. Another nice snook. This one's a little greenish. Mm -hmm. back here. Pop that bell. Yeah. So anyway, so he was saying it's a, that's a very nice fish. Ta-da! Get you on the video here. Releasing him in our undisclosed Everglades location. Yeah, go back home. Anyway, he hooked this monster tarpon that was rowing, they're pulling his rowboat, you know, for like it's two to three hours, you know, and he finally tired him out. And back then they, they ate them. They cooked them on the beach. Yeah. This little pocket has really been very productive the last 10 minutes. You? Yep. Awesome. I'll just use my uh, chest thing here. Watch out for your rod. Uh. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're in. We're in. Wow, that's a nice one there. Yep. We're into the snooks. So one thing I managed to do in Alaska yeah. is I fell in every river I fished in. No way. Every single one. I, you know, we were doing a lot of wade fishing. So every single one I, I slipped and fell. You got another. You got another. Well, yeah. I'm casting out a little bit. Like I was going for the mangroves, but let's see, obviously, yeah, this is a little more productive. That's a nice, that's actually a really nice one. Oh yeah. I think he's one of the bigger ones we've had. That one I think might be the biggest so far. Okay, fan cast all around this way. Okay. Times where, like, 
it just won't turn right over. Like all day for the most part, I would say. Open your bell, give me a couple. Um, let's say like nine out of ten times, first second pull it starts. And then one random time, the only way I can get it to turn over is if I re-choke it and crank the uh, throttle way past like the reset, like halfway up. And then even then, if I don't like turn the choke back off and push it into forward click and just rev it right up and go, it'll die again. Nice snook. But then we gotta get this out of you. That's a beauty. Oh, that's a beauty, yeah. I agree, I think there's something... I think there's something wrong with it. Yeah. So for now, just tilt the motor, wait 30 minutes. You there? So for now, just tilt the motor and, and wait, wait 30 minutes or something. Oh, I agree. It's a pain in the ass. In the past, I've been able to start it up despite um, despite that happening, but this time after it started up twice and stalled out i couldn't get it firing again and then I hit it a bunch more times it wasn't even getting close and then i tried to flood it yeah. are you working on my boat right now gotcha. all right dude sounds good i'll uh i'll circle back to you in like an hour i'll let you know what happens Yeah, when I first came down here, I thought that must have been the trail of the long way, but it's not. It's closer to where that other boat is. Is that a bite? No. But it's a promising little hole in there. Oh, yeah. the motor up for what 10 minutes not even well not us sorry since i cranked it wow that was great what a pass yeah. i'm not even sure if it's next hold my tiny hope that could be a that was sick that was. there was he was right there in the mangrove and he hit it as soon as it landed. Yeah, you turned your handle, he was he had it. He had it, yeah. <laughs> I knew that that hole would be good. <clears throat> yeah, it was right in that right in that like where the U is where the two mangroves meet. Kill that? Just a, yep. You gotta love fishing the mangroves. I think it's working good. I see. That looks okay. That's right where he smashed it. Back to it though. No, no, no. We're moving into one. <laughs> in the, I'm starting my westward track. Yes, I totally agree with that. <laughs> There's plenty of water ahead of us. Yeah, I and mean, really, this whole wall is. Yeah. The whole south wall is good. More, more tarpon over this side. But it wasn't anywhere near the bank. Yeah. No, 
another nice snook. Mm -hmm. Pretty much all on the same size, which is cool. There he goes. Let's see if we can get a tarpon out of here. Worst vis you've ever filmed underwater? No, I'm not going to do it underwater because it is really no visibility here. All right, goodbye, tarpon. One thing you're right is this this place has a lot of snook. A lot. And there were a couple of times here where the tarpon were infested too. Just last few times it's definitely trended more snook. I don't know if the tarpon headed out or just stopped feeding quite as well. I really don't know the answer. Yeah, first sea trout of the day here in our secret Everglades location. Notice if he lets me. Notice how dark he is. Yeah. Yeah, it's all the tannins in the water. Mm -hmm. They take on a cool look here. Beautiful. There he goes. All right. Now if we get a redfish, we got a backcountry slam. This way? Yeah. Okay. Just cross that island. Yep. All right. He's a nice little guy. Over here, Mr. Snook. Okay, you're good to go. There he goes. No uh. worries. wasn't easy at the, end, at the end there. No, it wasn't. I think we were both shocked. Look we had that. we as a nice redfish. No, no spot. No spot. No, look at that. What about the other side? No spot. That's cool. What does that mean, no spot? It's just an unusual. All right. Side effect. I'm gonna grab some shots on my camera this Yeah, way. yeah, absolutely. But we'll grab some quick ones on your phone and yeah. then put them back in the water for a second. I'll set the camera up. <laughs> Snook, tarpon, redfish. I will be completely honest with you, there's no chance we would have made a cast right here if not for this. Water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we would have blown by this, that's for sure. I wouldn't have fished this. So, <laughs> gift from the Mercury gods right there. The Mercury gods. There, there we go. All right. Oh, he's a, he's a nice red. No spot, though. No spot. What happened to your spot, dude? Yeah, look at you. Not expecting a red. Put him in the water for a moment. All right, let me put this strap around my wrist. And then, if you want, you can hold him without the boga. No, I got. I, it's just easier, and I'll give him. That last couple, the couple flashes at the end there, I started to think that doesn't look like a snook, but I really didn't know what. It was. The reds come so infrequently here. I never think about them until they're, until they're in the you're boat. looking right at it. And you're like, holy shit. That's a redfish. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Well, you, you when you're... Uh, I'm pretty much ready. Yeah. It's a hell of a day. Inch lower on the fish, just an inch. That's good. Snook, redfish, tarpon, sea trout. One sec. We got the quad, the quad factor. Yeah, got our grand slam already. Yeah. All right, guy, you are free. See why I'm. Yeah. No, this I'm is. This, what I'm saying about yeah. This place. Yeah, yeah. Thank goodness.
pretty good on that. Yeah, let's get a picture of him. <clears throat> yep. All right, there's a nice little snook here. Yeah. Yeah. A little lower. Good. All right. All right. Back. And you are going back home. Sweet. Yep. All right. Thank you. Well, heading back after an amazing day in an undisclosed location deep in the Everglades. We got a. Uh, Double digit high 20s on snook, ladyfish, a couple sea trout, surprise redfish. One, four, five, or six on the um, juvie tarpon, juvenile size tarpon. So that was pretty, pretty awesome day.